Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Arshan Shadida Jauhar. I'm Jafal Ramadan. And we are from Semesta Bilingual Boarding School. We are here to present our study entitled Concentration Optimization of Mango Leaf Extract as a Growth Inhibitor of Tall Flat Such. For the background, we know that weeds are plants that grow around cultivated plants. <clears throat> which are undesirable on agricultural land due to the nature of weeds which take nutrients from the cultivated plants. Uh, it causes the reduced amount of yields that can be achieved by production plants and also which can become a nest of pests and diseases. Weeding is done commonly with chemical or synthetic herbicide rather than biological herbicide. The use of chemical herbicides for has many flaws has many flaws in it. If continuously used, it can harm nearby plants, increase the re- weed's resistance, and interfere with human health. Biological herbicides such as ours, which is made from mango leaves, can be as, as effective as chemical herbicides without harming nearby organisms. Here we have the distribution map of Cypress Rhacrostis. Cypress rhacrostis are natives to South America and North America. The marked area with the color red is where Cypress rhacrostis are in overabundance. The most prominent places are California, Texas, Brazil, Tasmania, Chile, and southwest parts of Australia. For formulated issues, we have two of them. Uh, the first one is, will the leaf extract be able to inhibit the growth of the weed? And the second one is, how does the leaf extract affect the host plant that's been infected by the weed? For the aim and benefits, first, the purpose of this study was to determine whether the acus extract of mango leaves could inhibit the growth process of tall flat such. And for the benefits, first, the herbicide won't be harmful to the host plant or other nearby plants. And the second one, the rate of successful harvest will increase. We have several equipment, equipments and materials that we use for our research. For the equipment, we use Bunsen burner, wire gauze, two 250ml beakers, tripod, aluminum foil, scissors, a scale, and lastly, pestle and mortar. And now for our materials, we use fresh and dry mango leaves and methanol. Here we have our flow chart f- for our research. First. We have two types of leaves, fresh and dry leaves. Then we extram- extract them both to get our substances such as flavonoid, phenolic, and etc. using methanol. Then we extract them. Furthermore, we now have the both dry and fresh mango leaf extract, and we tested it on both the weed itself and the seeds. Finally, we can compare the data that we've got from the research and show our result in our research paper. Our, hypoth- our, sorry. <clears throat> our hypothesis from our research is with the optimal amount of s- concentration value of the mango leaf extract, it will inhibit the growth of tall flat sedge without harming the host plant while remaining effective. At the extraction process, we used fresh and dry mango leaves and soak it in methanol for a full four days while, we d- while heating it for four hours a day during the process. After that, we let the methanol evaporate from the leaf extract and measure it to get a different percentage of concentration of the extract by diluting it with water. We get 25% with 2.5 milliliters of extract and 7.5 milliliters of water, 50% with 5 milliliters of extract and 5 milliliters of water, 75% with 7.5 milliliters of extract and 2.5 milliliters of water, and lastly, 100% with 10%. 10 milliliters of extract. Now we have the data for the fresh, fresh leaf extract on the weeds. Firstly, the 0% concentration, we have the height difference of 0.5 centimeters and its condition being healthy. And secondly, we have 25% of concentration and the height difference of 1.7 centimeters and its condition being healthy as well. 
Now we have 50% concentration and the height difference being 0.5 centimeters and its condition is starting to wither and with 75% concentration the difference of height is 0.1 centimeters and its condition being dead now with 100% concentration and the height difference of 0 centimeters its condition as well as well being dead here we have the data for the dry extract first for the 0%, there's 0 0.5 centimeters different and its condition is healthy. 25% it has 0 0.5 centimeters and its condition is healthy. 50% we have 2.4 centimeters and the condition is starting to wither. While 75% it has 1.3 different centimeters and its condition is dead. For our conclusion, first, the extract from fresh mango leaves are more potent than the dry ones. And lastly, signs of decay are visible on which exposed to fresh leaves extract with concentrated of 50% or higher. While the same thing happens with the dry leaves extract with concentration of 75% or higher. Here we have some suggestion for the further research. First, see if there are any changes to the soil's character from its exposure to the leaf extract and second one test further down its generation to see whether it can form some kind of resistance that's all from us wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh